All right, since this thing can't seem to win a Twitter poll to save its life, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Today we're looking at the Spark Frenzy. It's got this much damage, has a rate of fire of this, no critical chance, I'm wearing a hat. Let's check it out in game. Also, I just thought it was funny. The damage total for this is 420, and my login bonus for the day is 69. The two funniest numbers in human history in one Blitz Brigade video. Completely natural. I swear, this thing has been in every single Twitter poll I've done, and it cannot pull out a win to save its life. So I'm all like, alright, whatever, I'll just do it. So the Spark Frenzy. Really interesting little shotgun. It is fully automatic, so... You can fire it at that speed. I wish it had a little bit more ammo in reserve. What am I doing? I'm not saving anything for the review here. It has a very, very quick reload, but it's, uh, it's strangely satisfying. I don't know if it's the actual... I don't know if it's the sound. I don't know if it's the actual reload that makes it satisfying. It may be... It may be the excellent sound design. Oh, hey, frames, where are you going? It's okay. It's a good thing it's not an honest attempt with a solid frame rate. Right? Yeah. That's right. So let's see if we can find somebody... To oh. We won. A full team of demolishers. Haven't seen that in a while. So as most shotguns do suffer from range difficulties, we'll see how the Spark Frenzy holds up. Also, being fully automatic may not help that. I do have the Barrel of Shame equipped, so I am getting 25% more bullet spread and 15% more damage. Wait, other way around. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, 25% more damage, 15% more bullet spread. I forgot, I totally just underestimated my own hat. What is going on in this in this alleyway? I'm just going to take a quick peek, but I don't actually think I want to go down there. <laughs> the curiosity got the better of me there. I just couldn't resist peeking my head out of the corner. That could have been it. That could have been the end of Dreddle. Rip Dreddle. That guy was already, like, concussed or shocked or something. So, immediately you can probably see... Oh, he was using the barbecue. That guy's a genius. Immediately you can see the downfall of this weapon. It's just how vulnerable you are when you are reloading. That's honestly it. But if you can manage to land all your shots, unfortunately that guy was kind of moving around a lot for my thumb to keep track of him. Reload whenever possible so that way you won't get caught in a gunfight with limited rounds in a clip. I need revenge. All of my actions, henceforth, are revenge based. I'm not going to do anything that won't help me achieve my goal of killing the person who last killed me. Except for killing that gentleman. Nope, you're not a medic. I'm looking for a medic. So the Spark Frenzy's fire rate is a huge boon for the weapon. If only it ha if it could have a few more rounds in the clip. A lot more. If it could have a lot more rounds in the clip, then it'd be freaking great. You'd see it all the time. It'd be in the meta constantly. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. It's got a mere six in the clip with... Uh, oh, dear. That's a bomb. I'm just going to sidestep that. That may actually be my team's because it didn't go off. We'll see. Is that the case? Uh, it's red. Nope, that's not my team's. If you can land your shots, this is a very powerful weapon. The only thing is you're going to burn through the ammo in the clip really quickly. So just make sure to hit every single one of them. I'm exaggerating a little bit. You do have some leeway. In editing, I should see how many shots it takes to kill. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit hard. Oh, here we go. This guy's at half health, though. Oh, well, that was enough to kill him. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and do one more game with the Spark Frenzy. I really do like this weapon, I think it might actually partially just be the gun design. The model itself just looks fantastic. Oh, there's a stealth there! Alright. So I just hit him twice. And the persistent damage was enough to kill, so there we go. I think I hit him a total of three times and then the persistent damage afterwards was enough to take down a demolisher. So 50% accuracy is all the Spark Frenzy asks for. And that's for a bigger class with a bigger health pool. You have a little bit more leeway with some of the le with some of the lower health classes. One critical and two regular shots was enough to take down that demolisher. So three shots, yeah, still three. It is yet to be seen whether or not the hat actually makes a difference. Though I do like having the barrel of shame just for the little extra damage boost. Even if it isn't totally apparent that it's actually making the difference, I like knowing that it's there. I like knowing that I have that damage boost. I'm going to go ahead and respawn here, just so that way I can get my health back, because I was getting pretty low. So overall, I think I'm ready to give this weapon its final score. It's going to be getting 7 out of 9 full wars. The only thing keeping it back is just the fact that you're so vulnerable when you reload. And you have to do it so frequently because there's, such, there's very little ammo in the clip. So the bane of this weapon is just going to be groups of enemies. Up against like one or two, it's fantastic. You land three on one, you land three on the other one, or if it's like a 
If it's a demolisher and a stealth, you land three shots on the demolisher, maybe two on the stealth, miss a shot, you got a little leeway there. But if there's more than two at any given location, if you're facing up against a squad, there's really no way that you're going to be able to come out on top. Unless the other team is entirely incompetent. So I think 7 out of 9 is perfectly good. I got this weapon as part of the Cutting Edge pack, I believe. I think it was the Cutting Edge bundle that I got this in. The Cutting Edge pack itself is super, super good. Super value. If you can get that, get it. The Spark Frenzy on its own is very fun to use. Like I said, it's got a very satisfying... Did they kill me through a wall? That's exactly what happened. I wonder if I was, like, clipping through the wall or something like that. One minute remaining. So if you like the look of the weapon and you think you can see yourself using it and you don't mind the reload, go for it. But I think the bundle itself is worth more than the sum of its parts. It's got a little bit of synergy going on there. So there you go, that's the Spark Frenzy. I, it won't be appearing in any more Twitter polls. I swear, it's been in like, all of them. It's been in almost all of them. I've really been wanting to do... I've been wanting to use this weapon in, a, in an honest attempt for so long. I had to take its fate into my own hands in order to get it done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.